Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to conduct lecture number 45 and the topic of this lecture is board rate error rate calculation, right? So uh, let's see what we have in this topic to understand. Okay, the topic is board rate error calculation in serial port programming. So it is related with the value of SPPRG. Uh, we have discussed this register already. And this register actually defines the baud rate which we can achieve in serial port programming. So the formula that we discussed for the calculation of SPBRG value is this one. X indicates the value of SPBRG. So to understand it, let's calculate one more time for a specific case. Let's say uh, we have given FOCS or as FOSC, right, uh, or crystal oscillator, right, uh, given equals to, let's say, 10 megahertz. And we want to achieve with that specific crystal oscillator, uh, baud rate of, let's say, 2400. Baud rate equal to 2400 bits per second. And if we evaluate the value by putting these two values in this formula, what we will have. So if I put the value of 10 megahertz, that is 10 is to 6. Uh, 64 times baud rate, baud rate that we want to achieve is 2400 bits per second. So 2400 is uh, substituted. Uh, if we calculate this value, 10 raised to 6 divided by 64 times 2400 and then subtract 1, it will be equal to 64.1. But if you remember when we were using this value, we were using an integer part only. We were not using this exact value. So that means it will lead towards certain uh, error in actual baud rate. We want to achieve for 2400, but for 2400 bits per second, uh, we need to put the value of X 64.1, but we were using in the program, like if you remember, we use these two lines, right? Move little to working, D 64. That means we are using exactly 64, and then we put that value into SPBRG register. That what we have done in uh, programming. That means we haven't used the exact value of SPBRG. It will lead towards an error in uh, baud rate. So we won't achieve exact baud rate. So there will be certain error in baud rate, right? And if we want to calculate that error, or if we are interested to know what percentage of error is there, then we can use this formula. This is the our actual topic of today's lecture error we want to calculate it is equal to calculated value of SPPRG so in this case the calculated value is what calculated value is 64.1 right but we used what well, we used 64 right let me use a different color so actual value is what actual value is 64.1 or the calculated value but we used only 64 that is the integer part so uh, we have used only these two values. So there is uh, some error. And if we are interested to calculate that error, that would be equal to, le let's substitute these values in this formula. So if we substitute the formula or substitute these values, so 64.1 is the calculated value, 64 is the integer part according to this formula. So 64.1 minus 64, uh, divide by integer part, integer part is again 64, so 64, and then uh, the, we have a plus one in the formula, in the denominator, so it will become 64 plus one. So if we calculate this value, it becomes 0 0.0015, right? And normally errors are evaluated in terms of percentage, so you can actually calculate uh, error percentage, right? Error percentage that should lead towards 0 0.0015 times 100, and it will become point one five percent so that's how you can actually calculate the percentage error so we can say that if we use 64 instead of actual 64.1 there will be 0.15 percentage of error in baud rate we won't achieve exact 2400 bits per second rather there will be certain error and that error is around 0.15 percent so that's how you can actually calculate the error that we can expect in uh, serial port programming or in uh, that we can expect in the baud rate that we are going to achieve uh, so that uh, baud rate will be achieved with this percentage of error okay that's it from this lecture if you have any confusion and question you can post uh, those queries in comment section thank you so much for listening